Hi art friends! Hi art friends! Today we've got something a little bit different for you. What is it? Oh, it's these. <laughs> you still with us. <laughs> these, right, are called, you might have heard of them before, these are called storyteller dice. What they're normally used for is you roll them and there's different things on each side and they help you tell a story. But what we were thinking is we're going to use them to help make an original character, right? We're going to roll these dice, try and come up with a character, and if you want to join in, don't forget to tag us in them, guys. Take a look at these. I think there's oh. six all together. Yeah, there's six. Ooh. Every single dice is different too. There's something different on every single one. So I'm hoping we'll be able to <laughs> come up. There's poop over there. <laughs> oh, I hope I get the poop. <laughs> now, another rule that I've come up with <laughs> is that when I roll them, it, yeah. it has to be something you have to draw. And Aww. when you roll them, I have to draw those ones. I've been quite unlucky with rolling the dice recently. So are you sure you want my rolls? <laughs> yeah, sure. Who wants to go first though? I want you to roll for me first. You want me to roll for you? Yeah. Okay. How many are we rolling out the oh, dice? Oh, we're doing all of them. All of them? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> and then what well, we'll have to, I'll have to like write them down. And take a photo or something, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, you ready? Here comes the first one. Okay, what's number one? Oh, it looks like your atomic cat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cat. I'll write it really small up here for you. So you've got cat. Yep, that says cat, all right. C-A-T, in case you didn't know, guys. <laughs> Here's your spelling lesson of the day. Cat, totally the word focus. of the day. <laughs> it's a football or a soccer ball if you live in America, perhaps. Next time. Oh, that's like dinner. <laughs> dinner, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm really stumped <laughs> for what this is going to be so far. <laughs> <laughs> he threw it on the carpet! <laughs> but, 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 it is. What's it landed on? I would say that's a Christmas tree. Oh, I like a pine tree. Okay, we'll go with pine tree. <laughs> pine tree. Okay. Oh, I've knocked them all over. <laughs> I'm glad you This is why we write them down. <laughs> Just slapping them. I hate these. I want better choices. Oops. <laughs> okay. Whoop. Moon, moon. Moon, moon made of cheese. And finally... Is this the final? This is the last dice. Okay. A good one. Oh, a flower. A flower. That's a nice one. Flower. So those are your six prompts that you've got to use in your OC drawing today. Okay. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do. <laughs> Feel free to join in with me if you want to, guys. Yeah, there is your prompts. Well, your first set of prompts. Mine's coming up next. That is an interesting sound. I feel like the guy from Labyrinth, you know that movie where he goes like... Oh, where he had his glass ball. Yeah. <laughs> what if I end up rolling the exact same things for you that I got? Well, all, all six. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll deal with that problem if it ever happens. Okay. <laughs> Number one. Ooh, come on. Pick a bad one for Adam. Oh, it's someone... <laughs> oh, it's, it's, crying some, it's someone crying. <laughs> We're off to a great start. <laughs> oh. I'll write it down for you. Oh wait, that's my sketch. <laughs> Number two. Oh, All you flower. got flower as well. Crying flower. A crying flower, okay. Two so far. Is that a banana? I think that's a <laughs> banana. Next. Oh, sunshine. <laughs> wow, what a mix of emotions. <laughs> There's a lot going on right now. I think that's like a cup of coffee. What am I <laughs> And the last one's a car. Wow. I know someone who likes cars. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You weren't joking when you said you're bad at rolling dice. <laughs> what can I say? It's a talent. <laughs> <laughs> Never take steps to a casino, ever. <laughs> Would you like to lose? <laughs> okay, right. Well, we've got our prompts. Like I said, guys, if you want to join in, don't forget to tag us in it. And let's see if we can figure out what to draw with these. If you want the prompt for my one, guys, there you go. <laughs> and if you're curious where we got these dice from, guys, we got these ones from Tiger. But I'm pretty sure a load of people make these kind of things now. And they're called, uh, yeah, Storyteller Dice. Am I allowed to do a non-human character? Yeah, yeah, you can design it however oh, you okay. want, yeah. The only rule is it just needs to involve what, what's involve been rolled. Things, yeah, 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 but it can be a monster, it could be, you know, a yeah. cat, you know, anything. It's, it's started to come together now. Really? Oh no! Yeah. I'm here like, look at these dice! I need to I need to draw things in something real quick. Yeah. So what genius ideas do you have going through your head? <laughs> so far I have nothing. <laughs> wow, that's a really nice blank page. It's been drawn in invisible ink. <laughs> it is a masterpiece. Oh, it's tough, you know. I was thinking like, oh, this will be a fun little challenge, but it's actually really quite hard. <laughs> well, I've got a really good idea for mine. Have you already started doing yours? Yeah, you're insane. Oh my God, yeah, show okay. me. Let's see. So far. That's just a cat head. 
I've started with cat. Yeah, well, I've got one off my list. How many of you got off your list? <laughs> oh, burn. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need help. <laughs> Would it help you if I just like patted you on the shoulder for like moral support? <laughs> well, it feels like, yeah, it feels like I've done a good job already. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is a great blank page. Great job reading these prompts. Well, thank you. Thank you. You're good. <laughs> good job. Okay, so how about you inspire me? What have you got work? What have you got going so far? Okay, right. Well, let's put a few more details in my cat. So you're starting with your cat. Yeah, most important detail. All right, is this the is this the basis of your entire character? Oh yeah. So cat, I'm already gonna cross that off the list. <laughs> wow, that's confidence right there. <laughs> yeah. Now a few things to know about my cat is that um, when the moon and stars comes out, he goes to bed. So he's gonna be wearing pajamas. Oh, so you're using the moon and stars as the setting? Well, I'm using them as pajamas. Oh, so he's having moon and star pajamas. Well, when the moon and stars come out, he wears pajamas. It's nightwear. Do you get that? <laughs> I get it, but okay, yeah, let's roll with it. Okay. okay, okay. I mean, if it helps your immersion. Can he have moons and stars on his pajamas? Yeah, okay. That's, I thought that would have made more sense. Kind of looks like a wizard cat. <laughs> no, it's his pajamas. <laughs> You need some pyjama bottoms as well, I guess. To keep it PG, yeah. I know, <laughs> I know there are some people that only sleep in just a shirt. And before he goes to bed, he likes to have some dinner. So down here is his, uh, his food bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he stands on two feet like a human. But does he, <laughs> does, does he crouch down and eat out of his food bowl? <laughs> oh wow, I'm halfway through my list. <laughs> you need to slow down. <laughs> You haven't heard the rest of my story. So he works as a professional footballer. So he has a football next to him. <laughs> this isn't, you're not really incorporating it into the character very well. Yes I am. You're just sort of like, here's a cat in pajamas who plays football. So there is a football next to him. He also eats out of a cat bowl because he is a cat. <laughs> And um, he really likes the smell of the apples. Is that a football? <laughs> yeah. That's the weirdest looking football I have ever seen. He really likes the smell of uh, pine trees because it reminds him of playing football. <laughs> <laughs> I can only play football in dense pine forests. <laughs> so he has one of those little air fresheners that he's brought in the house. I can't help but think you found a massive loophole <laughs> in this challenge. <laughs> I don't know what you're on about. Oh, flowers, I haven't got that far. <laughs> I'll have to think of a way to incorporate them. <laughs> oh no, my design is ruined. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a minute to think how, how on earth you could incorporate flowers into this design. Oh, I know, I'll just have them sprouting out of the ground. <laughs> oh no, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that, that's ridiculous compared to this. How's your character design coming along? I think I finally figured something out for him. He's a crying flower. Wow. He's, he's having a really bad day. He says, I haven't drawn the sun yet, but he's a flower that's allergic to the sun and it makes him very, very sad. <laughs> so to cheer himself up, he's got himself a coffee. Okay. And I just need to incorporate a, a banana car. Why not? <laughs> we'll do a banana car next. Where are you going to fit a banana car in this picture? Oh, trust me. Hey, it's part of the challenge. We'll find a way to get it in. <laughs> I like that you've come up with like a plant creature though, that's pretty cool. It's well, a bit more imaginative than my cat. <laughs> than my cat in pajamas, <laughs> next to a food bowl air freshener <laughs> and his football. <laughs> he's crossing the street, he's so hot that his like petals are starting to fall out, it's like... Argh. Oh no! <laughs> I, think he's I think he actually might be dying. I love this, I might ink it. <laughs> <laughs> and just coming up behind him though... He's the most terrifying automobile ever made. It is a banana car. There's his little wheel. Can you guys see this banana car yet? I'm gonna put a poll up here. <laughs> How <laughs> legible is this banana car? <laughs> How rude! You're abusing the poll to question my artistic vision. <laughs> I've never had a poll so abused. There we go. Maybe if I put like the... Uh, you got over that yeah. very quickly. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I know you guys will look after me. Oh, I guess it kind of reminds me of Cinderella's, like, pumpkin carriage. <laughs> Except it's like a mouldy old banana. <laughs> and do you know who's driving the banana car? Who? The sun. Oh, the sun? <laughs> what? I thought you were going to say Pot Jackson. It's like, why won't you die? <laughs> Isn't the sun meant to be, like, massive? Well, no. <laughs> do you reckon the sun could fit in a vehicle if it really wanted to? Hey, the sun can do what it wants. I ain't messing with the sun. He can do whatever he wants. Wouldn't it set on fire? 
what he's done, right, is he's covered the banana car in a lot of thermal paste. He's not coated the whole thing in it. And he's climbed his sunny bum inside it. And he's like, I really don't like this flower, so I'm gonna run him over, I guess. Oh, wow! <laughs> and NASA, NASA hasn't seen it yet, but I have. The sun does have hands. <laughs> okay. So he can drive his little steering wheel. <laughs> Well, NASA, if you're listening, we've just <laughs> made a big leak. <laughs> attention, NASA. It's actually, looking at it with the perspective, the banana car is actually tiny. It's probably just going to run over his foot. <laughs> he's not even looking both ways when he crosses the road. That's why he's being hit by the sun. <laughs> okay. That's today's lesson, guys. Look both ways when you cross the road or you might be killed by the sun driving a banana van. <laughs> so, let us review. We've got a crying flower, the sun driving a banana car, and the flower is drinking coffee. And now it's time to ink it because I'm really proud of this. <laughs> so I want to ink it. Oh, I haven't finished my character design. How am I going to incorporate flowers into this masterpiece? <laughs> Maybe he can wear a flower crown. <gasps> That's way cooler than what I was thinking of. What was you going to pick? I should probably just go with my idea. So what's his big idea? Well, you know he works in uh, football. He works in football. <laughs> yeah, and he won the football champion league. I know football, guys. <laughs> this is a very prestigious football award. <laughs> the cat's like, look at my face. I am the football champion. And he got first. He hasn't put flowers um, in his cup, has he? No, but because he got first place, his mum was really, really proud of him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look at the legs on that table. <laughs> I don't have a table, so I've put it on my stool. She bought him a bouquet of flowers. Does he just walk around with them? I don't know where else to put them! <laughs> Mum, these, these flowers are beautiful! I just can't put them down! I must carry them with me at all times. But there's only three. <laughs> so you might as well... It's not a bouquet, that's a bunch! <laughs> well, I only needed one flower and he got three. I think that's quite a win. <laughs> Triple point! We couldn't find the pen that we normally fight over, so he's had to settle with this pen instead. Ah, uh, this one's not too bad. This is a... Uh... A uniball air, a micro one. I really like this challenge as well, guys. If you want to see us do more of these, be sure to drop us a comment and let us know. You know, I can always rely on you, though, to bring the cuteness. <laughs> you think he's cute? Yeah. I think mine's just hor terrifyingly real. <laughs> <laughs> what plant people are real? I think mine promotes, like, road safety. Well, that's something, at least. Yours <laughs> promotes dressing up cats. I'm sure there's, like, a Facebook page <laughs> dedicated to that somewhere in the world. Oh, you can't forget that bouquet of three flowers. <laughs> Not just the flowers, his mum got in them. That one kind of just looks like a piece of a bush. <laughs> <laughs> mum, have you been in my bushes again? The cats, of course she has to improvise. <laughs> you can give him like three flowers from a bush and like a hairball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's from a neighbour's garden. <laughs> what, the hairball or the flower? <laughs> <laughs> Everything. <laughs> mum, you didn't even give me your own hairball? Who's is this? <laughs> I've just noticed that my cat's kind of missing an essential cat detail. Oh, I can't. Is it his tail? Yeah, he doesn't have a tail. <laughs> but I've had an idea. If you can. Maybe he lost it in like a football run. No! <laughs> That's too much of a grim Adam story. I love that. He went in for a tackle and ripped off my tail. No, uh, he, he plays football with his tail and he uses it to whack the ball. Because he's only got little cat paws, so he has to use his feet. Tail ball. That is. The craziest looking football I've ever seen. I can't get over that. Why? What's wrong with my football? <laughs> Don't forget to like the video, guys, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see us do this again, let us know, because I think this is a great way to uh, push yourself a little out of your comfort zone. I'm going to post a mystery video somewhere above, and we'll see you next time for another Doodle Dead. Doodle Dead. Doodle Dead. <laughs> Bye, Bye, guys.